I will now create some form punches in this strip assembly. I'll go to the punch tab and select add a form punch. I'll start out in this station and for the formed area on the strip I'll select this radius, the straight and that radius. I'll name this uh, the preform punch material and heat treatments already set. Type of punch, I'll use 2D punch number one, radius overlapping. And then I'll select this icon to go into the sketch looking down from the top. I'll sketch in a corner rectangle. And then I am going to convert some additional geometry to dimension two. I'll convert that uh, edge, tangent edge, and this vertical construction line. Place the dimension from here to here, and then from here down. And then I'll place a dimension from this vertical construction line to here and an overall width. We're fully defined. I'll exit the sketch. We get a preview of our punch and click OK and, I, and that punch is, is uh, complete. Next I'll move on to this station where, where we are preforming this dome. I'll select add a form punch again. And for this particular station, I am going to right click and select all the tangent faces on the top side of the part. For the uh, file name, I will just call it a dome punch. Material and heat treatment is already set. We will use a 3D punch for this, where it's going to create a 3D surface on these faces that we had selected, and then use that surface to cut off the end of the punch. I'll select this icon to put us into a sketch looking down from the top. And normally I would just draw on a rectangle the size of the punch I, I would want but a logo press is going to need to extend that surface past the boundaries of the punch to cut it off. And because of this jagged shape right here, it is not going to be able to extend that surface. So in this particular case, I will just draw the contour of the punch within the faces I had selected. And then I'm going to place some dimensions just for the overall outside size of the punch. And again, I'm going to use logo press convert and convert for construction to convert these two vertical lines and this horizontal line going down the middle of the strip. I'll place the dimension from here down to here. And then also up to here, from this vertical line to here. And then from here to here. Exit the sketch. get a preview of the punch. If we rotate, yes, it did cut off the end of the punch. So I will click OK, and the punch is created.
I will then exit the strip layout function. And the first thing I want to do is make this punch square. So I'm going to click on this punch and edit it in context of the strip assembly. I'm going to use a direct editing tool in SOLIDWORKS called Delete Face. And I'll just select these faces on the corners that are cut off and say Delete and Patch. Hit OK. And now our punch is square. Now I need to extend these faces out past the flange on the part. So I'll take and um, use a direct editing tool called Move Face. And I'll select that face and drag it. And then fine tune the size. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, let me rotate here so we can see. Something like that. And fine tune this. I'll also do the same thing right here. and also over here. There, we've made our punch bigger. I get out of edit mode. You see the shape of the punch there. And the third and punch form punch for the final draw station, we'll create that in the next video. Uh, and we'll do that in context of the tool assembly.